What is your true calling? What is your dharma? What is your purpose? For me, that discovery came in 1994 when I interviewed a little girl who, who had decided to collect pocket change in order to help other people in need. She raised $1,000 all by herself, and I thought, well, if that little nine-year-old girl with a bucket and a big heart could do that, I wonder what I could do. So I asked for our viewers to take up their own change collection, and in one month, just from pennies and nickels and dimes, we raised more than $3 million that we used to send one student from every state in the United States to college. That was the beginning of the Angel Network. And so what I did was I simply asked our viewers, do what you can wherever you are, from wherever you sit in life. Give me your time or your talent, your money if you have it, and they did. Extend yourself in kindness to other human beings wherever you can. And together we built 55 schools in 12 different countries and restored nearly 300 homes that were devastated by Hurricanes Rita and Katrina. The point is, your generation is charged with this task of breaking through what the body politic has thus far made impervious to change. Each of you has been blessed with this enormous opportunity of attending this prestigious school. You now have a chance to better your life, the lives of your neighbors, and also the life of our country. When you do that, let me tell you what I know for sure. That's when your story gets really good. Maya Angelou always says, when you learn, teach. When you get, give. That, my friends, is what gives your story purpose and meaning. So you all have the power in your own way to develop your own angel network. And in doing so, your class will be armed with more tools of influence and empowerment than any other generation in history.